right so in this tutorial I want to uh, center my content to the middle of the page using bootstrap 4 and uh, I have two examples two different examples from with how I, I can do it um, so it will be perfectly centered right to the middle of the of uh, the page um, and the centering is uh, horizontal all right so i'm opening up my um, visual studio code and uh, i already have a little bit uh, well the backbone of uh, my project here so I have docked up uh, HTML, um, I have um, linked my uh, CSS to, uh, to the HTML document and uh, I also linked uh, Bootstrap um, because I'm using Bootstrap today. So in the body I um, have created a container and inside of a container I will have uh, two rows. Uh, this is going to be one row and this is going to be another row. For both rows I will have two different examples. So let's get started. Alright, so let's do it. Um, <clears throat> example number one. Inside of the row, uh, I'll have a column. Inside of this column, I will have a um, heading. And um, I'm going to call it, I don't know, example one. And then I'll have a text paragraph. I will use a lorem. All right, so <clears throat> Bootstrap property has um, uh, Bootstrap has uh, one property that will help me center my content very easily to the middle of the page. Um, now I want to um, I will use I will use margin top top to kind of move a little bit from our. Oh, from, um, that's going to be my page right now so from the top now um, that's how it looks like my example and the text so um, I want to place the, the heading to I want to center it real quickly Um, give my column some property it's going to be column for the large I want to use 6 and for column medium I will use 8 I will save and preview now it's still not centered as uh, we can see now with this property which will be placed in the row um, justify um, content middle center I'll save it um, hold on Did I save it? Mm. Justify con oh con tent middle center and save. And yes, so with this property, I have um, 
centered my content to the very middle of the page. Now I uh, want to give the same definition as the color so it kind of uh, stands out a little bit. So I'm going to call my my div uh, my my div class give it a name example one and I have created already some height for this uh, uh, con uh, for this div and the I gave it a background color just same as for n example number two which will be coming up shortly so now I have my content right here in the middle and then when I am shrinking my browser it uh, adjusts accordingly all right so now let's get to example number two uh, in the same container I will create another role in this role actually um, example number um, in this row, I will have uh, one column, and again, I will use just uh, the same uh, stuff, H2 and P, and I will paste it in here. Now, I will call it example number two, of course. And uh, I guess that's going to be it. I will save and I will check in my browser. Yep. Now, in here, I will uh, move, uh, I will give it a margin bottom five. So there is a little bit of space. Now, um, let's. Uh, Call this uh, um, div example two, and as you can see, I already have given height and background color to this um, div. So I'm going to save it and preview. Now it looks pretty much like that. Um, so let's get to it. Um, I'm going to my columns and for the large I will give it nine uh, I, will, I will give it six and then I will use uh, offset property uh, offset large three and then for the medium uh, screen devices medium I will use uh, H and then offset medium um, two. And now I'm going to save it and preview. And there you go. They look just uh, alike. And when you shrink, they are shrinking together with the um, browser. And that's pretty much it for today.